All right, so here we have it. Um, group C, DR Congo against um, Morocco. Now, what I did not know was that DR Congo used to be called Zaire, you know, Rumble in the Jungle, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman. DR Congo, excellent, excellent performance in the last Nations Cup, reaching the final four. Um, Ibenge, again, a local coach, which is what I love. Incredible achievements. Yes, they've had these issues of players' bonuses and everything. Why players should need bonuses to play for their countries, I don't know. But I think same issue happened with Zimbabwe. Look at how well they played. They should have beaten Algeria. I don't think this will have any bearing on their preparations. I believe that hopefully these guys, as long as they carry on what they did two years ago into this, they should beat Morocco. As for Morocco, I mean, let's just get this straight. Have... Of Renal, you know, the coach for Morocco, he's in some kind of savior. What he did with Zambia was amazing. That was down to coaching. What he did, he did with Ivory Coast was not down to him. For me, for Ivory Coast, again, in that final, Ghana should have won that final. And penalties is a lottery. There is no coaching involved in penalties. It's about the, the players. So I think credits, giving credits for what he did with Zambia, I give him no credits for what he did with Ivory Coast. And what can he do with Morocco? Yeah, he will definitely bring in some good tactics, some good organization. He 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 demands, he demands full on effort from all of his, his players. But I don't I mean, but I don't think he can take Morocco that far. But again, I believe their goal is quarterfinals. Speaking to this match, Dale Congo have to look at what happened in the in the Senegal game. Senegal heavily favorites, they could have easily lost that game. For Ibenge, he must focus on organization. If they're not fully organized, these North African sides, they know how to play well with the ball on the ground. They are technically good. They know how to put crosses into the box and they know how to create chances. And DR Congo cannot afford to give Morocco the kind of chances that Senegal gave them. So DR Congo, yes, they're favorites. They should win this, but they should be professional with how they go about it. Good shape, moving the ball around well, defensive organization. Keep it zonal, mark your space, don't come out of position, but go out, go out, go out to Morocco and really express themselves. If they do the basic stuff well, the defense of the organization, then that allows the, the individuals to express themselves. And again, for Mulumbu, the captain of the team, he's now going to drive this the side forward. But I think, you know, for Morocco, if they can upset their Congo, pick them apart defensively, then maybe they can try and get something and do what Tunisia were not were unable to do against Senegal. But re regarding this match, um, I see this as being 1-1. I'm going to go with, with a 1-1 in this game. So yeah, I'll stick with a 1-1 between both sides. Could be a 2-2, could be a 2-2, but I'm going to stick with a 1-1 behind that. But also with Morocco, Younes Belhanda, one of the main players, he, he's out of the game. So I'm... I'll stick with a 1-1, um, but Dia Congo should really be winning this game.